Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This video is going to be pretty quick. It's also a little unusual because I seldom have news back to back like this on new products on what we know so far. This one is GPD's newest product, their G1. This is an eGPU portable solution that they are coming out with and it's coming out relatively soon. This product is kind of similar to the GPU pucks that Sonnet made a long time ago. This will be using AMD's Radeon RX 7600M XT mobile GPU in this portable GPU docking station. Additionally, on top of Thunderbolt with USB 4 support as well, there will also be Oculink support. And because there's Oculink support, you could technically export Oculink to a desktop if you had a PCI riser card that accepted that Oculink port in, and then you could also run this on a desktop if you really wanted via Oculink, but you could also use Oculink on something like the GPU MX2 via the M2 riser card for Oculink adapter, which I've shown in a previous video before. I myself am a big fan of Oculink just because you can extract a little bit more performance than what Thunderbolt offers. However, Thunderbolt is still far more convenient, especially because it can deliver power. Speaking of power, there is an included 240 watt GAN power supply in this enclosure, but it's still relatively very compact. If we were to look at the dimensions of the device compared to, say, like the Steam Deck or the Switch, you can see how small the GPD G1 actually is. The dimensions are 205 millimeters by 110 millimeters by 29 millimeters. If we were to take a look at the GPD G1 compared to the GPD Win Max 2, we can see that both of these devices are really, really small. The end result being that you could technically have a full workstation that you could bring around with you anywhere you wanted to go. It's really interesting to see this. Now, the TDP that I'm aware of, it maxes out at 120 watts on this particular eGPU. I have been told that it is being compared against the RTX 3070 in gaming performance. We'll have to wait and see how far that gets along on this particular eGPU docking station. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures at the moment, so there's nothing more that I could share than other dimensions compared to other stuff right now. This product is still coming out relatively soon, so I would anticipate that you would see pictures coming pretty soon, and as soon as I have that information, I'll be sure to share. That's it for right now, guys. As always, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.